What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Crypto Muscle, Crypto News. Coming to you with another YouTube video. And by popular demand, people want Crypto Muscle News to be an ongoing thing. And, you know, I'll try my best to keep it an ongoing segment on my channel of just providing news, entertainment, and everything else. I'm a full, well-rounded YouTuber that's not just some cookie-cutter YouTuber and only tells you, you know, one side of things. I tell all sides of things, and that's what we do here on the Crypto Muscle Network. You know, and all of my, sa you know, savage, 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 all right, fans out there love and clamor for the next Crypto Muscle video. Alright, even the ladies of crypto here, let me tell you, my entourage of ladies here, let me see if I can find them. Oh yes, my crypto flower, oh baby girl, what's up? And oh yes, the crypto chick, what's up baby girl? See, these are the entourage that follows of crypto muscle and riding it wrong. The crypto muscle train up to space mountain to the top. That's what I'm talking about. Right ladies, that's right. We need Crypto Flower back, baby. Come on back. All right. We, we, we miss you. You know, you've been gone for too long now. You got to come on back with those big naturals. Whew. Oh, oh, man. Gone a little too far there. All right. Let's get to the news here. Well, well, well. Look at this. Bitcoin's dipping back down. Did you get stuck in that big-ass bear trap I mentioned yesterday? Did you guys get stuck in that? Because it's happening right now. That big bear trap. Is closing, it's clenching the jaws around you right now because you bought in thinking it's going to pump back up at that 21,000 price and then it went back, back under just again. And you got suckered. That's all I got to say. Don't let these fools out there pump you up into thinking that we're back in the bear market now just because it pumped back up just a little bit. All right. This is just the start of a bear market. Did I say bear? <laughs> earlier i meant bull market this is the start of a bear market right now uh, there's going to be lots of ups and downs but the overall trend it's going down all right and it's going down to 10k or less that's what i'm looking for i mean no timetable just that's just what i'm looking for i want 10k or less bitcoin all right i want i want either a 2017 july 2017 $1,500 Bitcoin, which I know it won't happen. I know and would love to have even a 2020 March COVID-19 Bitcoin at 3800 bucks. I wouldn't mind that as well. Something along the lines of those would be nice. All right. That's what I'm looking for. I want that. All right. But yeah, so don't get stuck in a big bear trap. We're in a, a bear market right now. Oh, did I say, yeah. Did I say bear trap or bull trap? I don't even know. I'm, I'm getting my words all mixed up right now. But you get, you guys know what I'm saying. The direction is it's going down, all right? That's the whole point of it, all right? So uh, let's take a look at what's going on in crypto news. This is the one that's really stuck out to me today, all right? BlockFi secures a $250 million bailout from FTX. Why? Bailouts is the dumbest thing that has gone on. Whether it's in finance or in crypto, let these things die, all right? You know, it reminds me of all the bailouts that occurred back in the last uh, big recession, when, was it 08? The reason why cryptocurrency was created because of all these bubble markets, right? Real estate, uh, all these different uh, corporations, all that stuff, right? was inflating. It was just so much inflation, not inflation in that way, but just a big bubble inflating that it finally bursted, all right? There wasn't any more money to go around. So what happens? It crashed, right? People dumping money, people, all this stuff, lost money. And it put a lot of companies in trouble back then. And what happened was, if it was me, I would have just let that shit die. All those companies... Uh, auto companies, everything else, right? They all got bailed out. And now, all these years later, 
the U.S. government is still paying for that sort of stuff. All right, all they do is print money these days. And this sort of thing, let these guys die, all right? That's how you teach the ultimate lesson in life <laughs> of business and in crypto and all that stuff is that you bail them out, they're not going to learn their lesson. They're just going to continue to do bullshit stuff. So, yeah, that bothered me there. And uh, let's see here. I don't care about that. <laughs> Crypto staking must be regulated along with Bitcoin demands first. Uh, all right, whatever. All right, let's just move on. Let's see here. What else is going on here? Manage liquidity for lenders. GameStop offers fast fiat to Ethereum on ramping to its customers with ramp integration. Okay, okay. GameStop. You know, making a step forward to the future. So, yeah, let's see. This guy was talking about $21,000 Bitcoin. Um, and then it went back down to twenty. A rising wedge formation. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, I thought this was pretty... Uh, see, crypto staking must be regulated along with Bitcoin. All right, whatever. Tether to launch GB, the great British pound tether tokens, pegged to the British pound sterling. So, see, they're having their own tether now as well. Just like how the U.S. dollar has a tether, right? So, you know, that, I guess that's just another country adopting and making their own tether for the purposes of crypto. Not necessarily into their current money currency, but just to have in crypto. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Look at this. Ukraine sells CryptoPunk's NFT donation for 90 ETH worth over $100,000. Wow. Good job, Ukraine. You know why? Because NFTs, it's just kind of a fad right now. And that's just what I, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think NFTs is a long-term thing. I just think it's just kind of the trend at the moment. And, uh, you know, because all you're doing is looking at these pictures and you're buying into these pictures and you want to sell it. All that stuff. I don't mess with the NFTs at all. It's just, um, I don't know. I just don't like it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Celsius warns community about fake accounts, pauses, Twitter spaces, and AMAs. Wow. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Over 50% of Bitcoin addresses still in profit. Very interesting. And, ooh, look at this one. Hubie Crypto Exchange wins licenses in Dubai and New Zealand as the Thai affiliate closes. So that's for Hubie, uh, the crypto exchange for that. Uh, very interesting as they open up first ever licenses in Dubai and New Zealand. And risky business, Celsius crisis, and the hated crypto law, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see here. Trying to keep it going and flowing, man. Just sharing you guys. Look at this. Bitcoin in Zimbabwe. Importing cars and sending money to family. See, this is what I'm talking about. Not some, you know, shit coin like Apollo. Yeah, they're, not, they're not worried about some bullshit coin. They got other shit to worry about. It's some a, a, Apollo garbage, you know, and then adopting it. Who, who came up with bullshit talking about that they're gonna, it's going to trigger mass adoption because Zimbabwe is going to implement this into their national currency, this Apollo trash, all right? Uh, no, it's, look at this, it's like uh, tons of money away from even reaching a penny. So it doesn't even matter. It's a 99% discount too, by the way, all right? 99% discount, guys, it's so cheap. Right, they should have this, yeah, this whole block fight, so they should have just let them die. You know, that, that just sucks. And look at this, Celsius token rises 300% in one week amid a GameStop-like short squeeze event. Ooh, yes. Yes, that whole GameStop. Token on Robinhood, whatever that's heard occurred last year, 
Yeah, that was a mess. Um, the crypto lending platforms and solvency risk put CEL price at risk of a 70% drop. Ooh, man, a massive pump and dump situation going on. Yeah, I'm staying away from that stuff. Um, hey, let's see here. They're talking about highs for the last couple of days. Bitcoin taps five-day highs. Shiba Inu leads altcoin gains. Such a bullshit coin. You know, it's like, Shiba, get out of here with that. You know, it's, 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 it's a meme coin. In the end, it's just a meme coin, all right? That's all it is. And so, sorry, but I'm not going to mess with that. So, China's WeChat bans crypto and NFT related accounts. China just seems so wishy-washy about what they want to do. In one minute, they want it. Next minute, they don't. One minute, they have a ton of miners. Now, they're booting all the miners and stuff out. It's like, all they're doing is, one, leave the money on the table. And two, they were dominating in terms of the mining aspects. I don't know. Maybe just put a strain on their power grid. I don't know. But, I don't know. You could have struck a deal with the miners to say, hey... You know, well, if you help us improve our system, uh, you know, then good. Then you guys are good, man. We'll let you guys keep running it, and you just give us a cut. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was a, you know, China government, right? So, just saying. That's what I would do. But yeah, so I think this. Let's see if there's anything else to cover. I think the biggest thing that came out oh look at this crypto lending platform Babel, which your boy pacey misspelled by the way uh, he misspelled it. can you believe how you miss how do you misspell it it's like right there in front of you and you misspell it in your title get out of here man that's why you're trash uh crypto lending platform Babel reaches a counterparty debt agreement so the firm emphasized that it will actively fulfill its legal responsibilities to customers and strive to avoid further transmission and diffusion of liquidity risk. All right. Um, yeah, it's just seems like another form of a bailout right there. That's trash. I mean, I want my bail. How about bailing me out? <laughs> bail, bail me out of stuff, all right? How about that? But no, you can't bail out everybody, and it's picking and choosing. Yeah, so it's just a mess, and it just sucks, all right, to bail out. I think you should let it be, because all it's doing is just putting more money back onto the people, the regular people that pays the taxes, all that stuff, right? Well, that's a whole different story and discussion that could just completely go in a different direction, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, Cloudflare outage affects multiple crypto exchanges. Yeah, um, certain websites cannot be go online because of this Cloudflare outage. So that was pretty interesting because a couple people even know say I can't log into the site. I think the site's gone. And I said no. I was like, well, check it back again because I checked it personally and it was fine. And then they actually were able to get back in. So. But yeah, that's a smart move by Ukraine to unload the crypto uh, or NFTs for, um, you know, 90th and uh, $100,000. I think it was good to accept that and sell those NFTs, all right? Unload that stuff. It's like it's like unloading shit coins, but on a larger scale, right? You want to be you want to have money, money or real crypto, or you want some NFT? I, don't, I wouldn't trust that. And so that's where I'm standing with that sort of thing. Um, I think that could possibly be the rest of today's news I wanted to cover with you guys. Um, yeah, it's just, in general, crypto is crazy, right? It's just the way it is. And we always got to be on our toes for this sort of thing. When things change, you just never know. All right? You just never know. So... Uh, comment down below on all these turn of events that happened. The, the parting of the Red Sea as well for some of those platforms. And uh, all I got to say is just another day. Comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.